Rihanna, pour it up to play in a second. Calvin Harris, I need your love as well. But before that, let's check in with Secret Teacher. Hi, Rihanna. Hello. Yeah, live Hi. Secret Teacher. Yes. This music always gets me. I love it. The first time we ever met Secret Teacher was last year. It was her first week as a teacher. If you've never listened to this before, here's a brief rundown of what's going on. Mm-hmm. We've all been pupils at a new school. We've all been scared on our first day. What we wanted to do as Secret Teacher was tap into how scared the teacher is on their first day, in their first year of being a newly qualified teacher. The answer is no one really knows. No one knows what these people are like. They're mystery. My parents were both teachers, but you don't know what they were like, because I was, I was not even born when they first started teaching. So after scouring the land, we found someone who was willing to share with everyone, the nation, exactly how they felt during their first year as a qualified teacher. The identity of the teacher will remain anonymous completely, although the stuff that we've learnt about her has kind of given the game away, but whatever. (laughs) Has she been found out? Well, I don't know, but come on. How many teachers have been given the nickname Trumpy Sue, Sweaty Betty after an unfortunate armpit (laughs) accident, Flashy Kathy after their blouse popped open during the lesson? Yeah, I remember that. So the, the voice has been changed and is voiced by Rihanna from Films. You. That is me. That's where you come in. Mm -hmm. What we've learned so far about Secret Teacher is that she's been, as I mentioned the names above, she's been caught having a crafty cigarette with Miss Geography, my best friend. Love Miss Geography. She sounds cool. In the car and they they passed it off as steam, (laughs) which sort of fueled the lesbian rumours, both of them. (laughs) Like the bit in Titanic with the hand on the window. Our teacher also enjoyed making a rude snowman sculpture of the headmaster, which she added snow breasts to. <laughs> She's been grilled by Ofsted for her performance, but passed with flying colours. She was actually very good. She also found out the hard way that pipette is, uh, is her pupil's code word for lady parts. <laughs> Last week, Secret Teacher revealed her ingenious methods of disciplining naughty pupils in detention by playing that crazy cat video over and over oh, again. Oh, God, that was awful. Which actually led to some, so many teachers texting in. I, I remember her name, Lucy, Lucy Messick, texting going, Greg, I'm going to do this <laughs> in my class. This is a genius idea. So, so Secret coming up Teacher next, is teaching the nation as well? In many ways, yeah, teaching okay. her the wrong methods. <laughs> coming up next, this week's instalment of Secret Teacher. What the hell has she got in store for us this week? Find out do next. Do Watch it all fall out. So we fall out. Rihanna, poor... It's up on Radio 1. <laughs> Why can't you say poor? Giving elocution lessons to Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> You're the secret teacher, you tell her. It's poor. No. no. Power it up. Power it up, power it up. Poor. Anyway, anyway. it's all right. <laughs> it's an all right Rihanna song. Pour it up. Calvin to play in a bit. Jake Bug as well. And Levels play Avicii in a second. Secret teacher then. So we've learned all that stuff about her. Rihanna, what the hell's been going on with our secret teacher the last week? Go for it. Here we go. Yuck. First day back after Easter, and I've got a big issue to bring to your attention today. Huge. Uh Uh-oh. What what is this going to be? Seating plans. Sure. (laughs) Now, this is a huge deal for teachers. So the formation in which the kids sit arranged very delicately. So they need to be placed in positions where they can help each other and get the most work done. And you always have to keep yourself entertained by attempting to set up potential relationships between the students. That's quite weird, isn't it? That is weird. I've never heard of people doing that. Mm. Although now I come to think of it, I did sit next to one boy for about four years at school. And what happened? Nothing. Oh. Unrequited love, I think, happened. Oh, no. Yeah. Did you really like him? Yeah. So you needed a secret teacher to matchmake you? I know. Well, we were sitting next to each other. And there obviously was nothing there. Oh, I know. She anyway. Could have, she could have dropped a candle down the desk. <laughs> or a rose. <laughs> yeah. Didn't she? <laughs> My current project will be with students we should call Alan and Ruth from Year 10. Love the names. Oh. Both are single and adore each other. Now, Miss Geography, my best teacher friend, teaches them too and is doing the same in her class. So I'll, I'll keep you updated. This is great news, isn't it? That this is teachers great. try and set up their pupils. This is exactly what we wanted to hear from the secret teacher. <laughs> that they do these weird little games. It's like we said ages and ages ago, that they play little games when they're in the exam hall as well. So they'll do things like they'll sit next or they'll stand next to a kid who they think is ugly. <laughs> And, that, and then it made everyone else who listens to the show and was in the exam really that, that week going, oh no, the invigilator stood next to me, I'm a go. Not um, all teachers do that, by the way. That's just, just one no. bad apple. 
But if you do get, if you do sit next to someone that you quite fancy, then it might be your teacher's doing. Sure. Which is quite cool. So How it was I, Ruth and Alan, was it? Yeah, Ruth together? and Alan. Alan is in trouble with me for currently for asking, what's the average biomass of a large bush? Sure, we, and, all, we all want to know. And I'm unsure whether I should provide him with this fantastic matchmaking opportunity at present. Mm, fair dues. So, all seating plans completed, I went outside and waited for a lift home from a mate when a teacher, who the kids call Frau Cow, old, miserable German teacher, basically. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good nickname. <laughs> Original, I like it. <laughs> walked up to me and asked me if I was okay and wait for it. If my parents were arriving soon. <laughs> she thought I was a year 10 who had just come back from a Duke of Edinburgh meeting. I was so embarrassed. I just said yes and toddled off. Oh, bless. How cringe. <laughs> I've just received an email and it turns out that I'm paired with her to take the kids on a school trip on Friday. <laughs> oh, God. It's all, it's really embarrassing. It <laughs> happened to a worst. couple of our teachers. They thought there was a guy, I won't say his name, there was a guy, when we did general studies and you sit down and you have to watch, like a speaker comes in and talks about stuff. Mm-hmm. The teacher put his hand up to ask a question at the end and the guy thought he was a student. Yeah. He went, yes boy, at the back. <laughs> he went, I'm actually, actually I work here, I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> yes, yeah, a uh, small chap at the back. Yeah, I actually work here, I'm head of year. <laughs> so off. Oh, bless her. So that's going to be fun for Secret Teacher with Frau Kau next Friday. Frau Kau's a good one. Also, you can mess around with the German for Mr, which is hair. Because there was a guy, our science teacher was called Mr Short, and he was bald. <laughs> so we just called him Hair Short, which is very good. Cla- classic. So there you go. Good. Secret Teacher's okay this week. She's doing all right. She's, yeah. um I love this matchmaking thing. I can't get over that. I think that's wicked. Does this, does this really happen? Is it just secret teacher? There must be some other teachers no, this thing that do this. as well. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll find out what happens to secret teacher same time next week. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you. I need your love. Calvin Harris and Ellie Golding, I need your love on Radio 1. Mm. Katie in Witness says, I have the opposite problem to secret teacher. I got asked what class was mine. I'm a student, not a teacher. It's <laughs> way worse. It happens the other way around, though. If you're, if you're a teacher and they mistake you for a little boy, oh, you boy, top button, do your top button up. Actually, I work here. I actually teach geography. Um, loads of teachers matchmake their pupils by sitting them next to each other. It's incredible. Sean says, I'm actually going to consider becoming a teacher just to matchmake students. I love matching people up. <laughs> hi, Simon. Uh, hi. Hi. Where are you talking through a sock? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Um, <laughs> wh- what happened to you? Uh, well, I was in my English class. I was at school, mm. and uh, um, my English teacher maybe she thinks to uh, this girl, and now we have a son together, and we're getting married this year. Oh, congratulations! Wow. Amazing. So you owe everything to your English teacher. Yep. See, it works. People do that. Thank you very much, Simon. Look at that, Rihanna. It happens. That's so lovely. And also, Ian and Adelston has said that his geography teacher sat. Uh, him next to a girl who's also now his fiance, and they have a baby. Got so that. it does actually. I think this is incredible. Applause. It happened. How did we not catch on to this before? Did Are this they... happen to you? Can you think of any situations with any girls that you sat next to? Uh, it was boys' school. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so. did you get matchmate with any blo- blokes? Maybe. No, but if I, if I'm I'm not gay, but if it was, it would have been perfect. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Oh. But it happened to you. Well, it sort of did, except then that the, it just the didn't other guys. Fancy you. <laughs> we went to school together for about fourteen years, I think. Sure. And yeah, so if it was, if it didn't happen at the end of it. Yeah, I was going to say the gen the general rule is if it hasn't happened after fourteen yeah. years, it's probably best just to leave it. Move yeah, on. Yeah, I think so. Oh, what's his name? I'm not telling Come you. Come on. No, he's no. I'm not telling you. Come on. No. Come on. No. I'm not playing another song. Just tell me his name. <laughs> we'll get him. <laughs> No, he lives in Dubai now, I think. Fine, fly him out there. His name's du- mm, his name's Sonny. Sonny? Yeah. Sh- is he a sheikh? Uh, no. Isn't he? I thought he was a sheikh living in Dubai. No. Sonny, he's he, he was from Sonny. Brighton. Sonny oh, from God, Brighton. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I just said that on air. You really <laughs> like Sonny, don't you? I used to. Oh, what if Sonny came back? I don't, I don't think we'd have much in common anymore. Come on, you're on Radio 1 now. You can flash <laughs> that card, can't you? <laughs> Now, reviewing the movies, Greg, Sonny. Why we go so red? Yeah. Sonny, are we saying? This is Jake Bug. Mine. It's another. Jake Bug. Lightning Bolt on Radio 1. Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, 
<laughs> this is lovely. What a lovely story this is. Well, it's a very sad story. So I've just learnt, listeners, that <clears throat> Rihanna's unrequited love from school called Sonny, who now lives in Dubai, he used to sit next to you at, in lessons. I mean, we've all got we've all got the one that got away, haven't we? We've all got that person. Because <sighs> girls were allowed in the sixth form at my school. That was the thing. Okay. So this is what happened. You, you used to help Sonny with spelling. Yeah? When we were in primary school. In, in an attempt to get close to him. <laughs> yeah. I used to, I used to I don't think it was that calculated, by the way. I think I was genuinely just helping him with the spelling. Oh, and well, he I, used to play football with me, so that was okay. With you? Oh. Yeah. Joining in with the boys. I'm sweating. Try and get close with Sonny. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, and what, what happened? Um, well, nothing ever happened, but then um, at my prom... <laughs> At your prom, right? Yeah, just as it was like everyone was leaving and, you know, he kind of, he reached over the table and he kissed my hand. <gasps> I think he knew that I had a bit of a thing for him. And then what? But, and then our leavers do, like I've been badge badgering him to write him, you know, we had like leavers book and everything, mm. uh, to write in mine and he wouldn't, he wouldn't. And then finally he sat down, he's like, I've been just been waiting because I wanted to write something and he wrote this really lovely thing in my leavers book. What did he say? Which made me cry. He's just like... Well, we've known each other for so long. Like it's it been such a long time, and he's like, you know, and we've never, we've not always seen eye to eye, but you'll always be the one. No, not the one. The no, one. it wasn't like I think he was letting me down gently. This is the one. <laughs> but it was really lovely. For God, the one has gone to Dubai. Go and find the one. <laughs> no, this is when we were sixteen. I believe in fairy tales. No. Come on, we can no. make this a radio feature. Uh, no, yes, definitely not. We go to Dubai to find Sunny. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I bet all his mates are listening and they're going to tell him. Oh, Sonny, oh Sonny, Sonny. Oh, Greg, don't. Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, you, if you want me to help, I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. It's more romantic than my story when I was at primary school. What I happened? just used to... There was a girl called Sophie. Mm -hmm. Sophie McElhone was the fit one. Okay, <laughs> when I was at primary school. I used to just hang her coat up for her. Oh, that is really sweet, though. <laughs> you are a proper What's that? Hey, morning. Can I hang your coat up? It's like chivalry at the it earliest is. point. I, I was about it. eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And Mr. Slaw, are you talking about? Just to hang a coat up. It's not euphemism. <laughs> Whatever. Sophie, I still hold a, I still hold a flame, <laughs> even though I was eight. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a surprise visit from Sonny. We'll get him over, I think, without without, without you knowing, Rihanna. Fine. But without you knowing. Okay. Your mum's tweeted me. She has. What did she Come say? Here. Your mum's tweeted me. What did she, she say? She said, oh my God, I can't believe you talked about Sonny on the radio. <laughs> Wendy Dillon. My poor mum's had to listen to me talking about Sonny for 12 years. <laughs> Oh, this real go this goes real deep, doesn't it? Not anymore. Not oh, anymore. It does a little bit. I got over it when I was 16. Okay, sure. <laughs> Thanks for that. BBC Radio.